Welcome to Mary's Creative Decor and Furniture Redesign. I'm back today for yet another project. Today we'll be working on these three large vases. And these vases came from the thrift store. I paid $12 for the green one, $5.99 for the white and turquoise one, and for the purple one, $5.99. And I did get them for half off. Now, they are a little chipped up. The white one has chips at the bottom. The purple one is just a little scratched and so is the green. I want to take them outside. I want to spray paint the plum one in rose gold, the white one in black, and the green one in gold. I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. I am back and I've spray painted one of my vases in rose gold, this one in black. I repaired the chips that was at the bottom. And I also painted the inside, which was turquoise and black. Now I didn't do anything with the green one, but before we painted it, I wanted to talk about what I wanted to do. The mat that I purchased to go around the vase. The first thing I wanna do is straighten out the curved edges of the mat. Then I'll check it for fit before gluing it down. I'll use my E6000 glue to glue the mat to the vase. As you can see, I'm gluing the mat to the vase, kind of like you would use it if you were putting it in the bottom of the tub or the sink. I'm using a stopper edge toward the vase. I use one bead of E6000 down the side lines of the vase, and then I added hot glue on the side of that. And this I attached first to make it easy to attach the rest of the mat. Then I used hot glue down every line or straight line of the mat and rolled the vase over. When we got to the end, I made sure every piece was attached. I also cut out pieces from what was cut off and attached to fill in any open gaps. Then I used my chip brush to brush off any loose strands of glue. When I'm done, I'll add my gold spray paint. So the gold base is outside drying and we're working on this one. It has been spray painted in the rose golds. Now I'm looking at these grooves that's on it. I'm going to take my Mod Podge and also I have some crushed glass that has been mixed with glitter to look kind of like a rose gold. And I did some paintings with it and this is left over. So we're going to put it in the grooves of, on the vase. The first thing I want to do is take my Mod Podge and I just want to put little droplets of it in the grooves and that's just in the center. And I'm going to let it run down. I'm also going to make sure I clean up any excess glue that's on the outside of the crease. And then I'm going to apply the crushed glass. And here's a peek at the pictures that I made with the crushed glass. I'm making sure that the crushed glass and glitter mixture is pushed down into the Mod Podge. I'm going to continue adding the crushed glass and glitter mixture and the two middle seams of my vase. 
And here we are with my black and my gold vase that has been spray painted. I'm not sure what I want to do with the gold, gold one. I kind of like it the way it is. So we're going to set it aside and work on the black one. Now, I want to start off dressing the black one up with some tone on tone. I have some black sequence wrap. Really, really pretty. So I want to apply it to the black. And then I have some gold uh, gem wrap. And I also want to add this to it. I want to do a combination of the black and the gold. I want to start working on the bottom of my vase. Uh, I have cut a small piece. This is just three rows of bling wrap. And I want to wrap it around the bottom of my vase. I'm going to use my E6000 glue to apply it. To help hold it in place, I'll use a little hot glue. Now I'm turning my vase upside down so I can begin adding the strips of bling wrap that I cut. Again, I'm going to use my E6000 and I'll also use my hot glue gun for that fast adhesion. I have my vase back right side up. I'm going to finish gluing down the ends of my bling wrap and we'll be back working on the necks. On the rose gold vase, I just want to brush off all the excess crushed glass and glitter. And you know me, on my gold vase, I just couldn't leave it alone. So I had to dress it up just a little bit more. I'm gonna add two rows of bling wrap right along the edge here, and we'll be back for the reveal. And here's all three of my vases complete. They turned out absolutely Beautiful. All three were under six dollars thrift store finds. Absolutely fabulous. So you don't have to go out and pay 40, 60, 80 dollars for a vase. Check out the thrift stores and reinvent them. And here's the rose gold by itself. Now I did make some other pieces to go with it. Absolutely stunning. And here's the black and gold. I think this one is my favorite. Let me know which one do you like best. And here's the gold. Look what can be created with an old vase and a mat. So if you're out there watching and you've enjoyed this video, you know what to do. You want to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you share this video with your friends and your family. And don't forget the notification bell so you'll be aware of all of my upcoming videos. Let me say thank you for watching. And have a wonderful, wonderful day. God bless. And I'll see you in the next one.